really attracted me to the, the MLD program is the core content of what the, the purpose of the program is. And I looked at MBAs and all the other master's degrees you can get. But what really struck a chord with me was this focus on the implications of interpersonal relationships and the social aspects of business. Uh, I've been very blessed and fortunate to have a, a good professional career, a long-standing one, uh, where I've been responsible for a variety of tasks, uh, large groups, small groups, uh, divisions of a company, etc. What I had noticed about myself over the years is the part of my job that I enjoyed most was watching other people become successful. Most of that, I think, was just a byproduct of my job. Uh, I was doing things by instinct or the way my parents had taught me to do them. But I knew there was something in there, uh, in me, that really enjoyed that part of the work world and I wanted to explore it more. Al almost an itch, if you will, that needed to be scratched. And when I came across the MLD program, it struck a chord because what it teaches is how change is accomplished through people. And I'm a firm believer that the end of all variables uh, that create change, it comes down to people. Are they aligned? Are they inspired? Do they collaborate? Do they think through obstacles? And the degree to which a group reaches a common purpose and a common platform to move forward, that's how change occurs. The MLD program is designed to teach the skills that enable that to occur. And that's what attracted me to the program. Actually, before I even completed the program, I started bringing some of my learning from the MLD uh, courses into my work setting. Uh, quite specifically, there were competencies instructed in there, such as engaging differences or diversity, if you will, um, strategic thinking and planning, um, stakeholder assessment and management, visioning and strategy, um, effective communication skills, both interpersonal as well as large group. I started to create workshops that I actually delivered in my company that brought these skills to the forefront and helped develop my team and my associates with material that I had brought from the class. At the end of the program, I actually began to create some uh, lecture series on leadership that I've taken to a number of other universities uh, and to volunteer and community involvement uh, areas to talk about how leadership can be taught. You know, one of the common misconceptions we all have based on what we see in the media is that leaders have been sprinkled with some kind of magic pixie dust. That there are those who are destined to be leaders and then there's the rest of us. Well, that's not true. And what you learn in the program is there are scores of literature that illustrate how leadership skills can be taught. So once I was armed with these factual based uh, information, it gave more of a science application to what I thought was purely an art form. And the marriage of the two enables you to teach leadership. Once I started to bring some of the, the skills and competencies learned in the program to the workplace, I really got this strong sense of energy. Uh, and I started to see it being impactful and decided that, well, why should I limit this in my professional setting. What the MLD program did for me, even outside the professional context, was given, it gave me the, uh, the subject matter expertise and the confidence and the, uh, the bites of information that add value that could be portrayed and played out in other settings. Any master's degree that you decide to pursue, don't trick yourself into thinking that it's not hard, because it is. Uh, you're going to have to set time aside. You're going to have to be passionate and focused on the work that you're going to do. However, what I will tell you is you shouldn't come into a master's program with the same expectations you did as undergraduate. It's a different type of learning. Uh, it's much more collegial. Um, the adult learning environment is very supportive. And you have an opportunity to pursue things that are important to you. It's not just a kind of a follow the bouncing ball type of work. Particularly for the MLD program, this is geared toward understanding the psychology of behavior. So as opposed to pure analytics, uh, numbers, metrics, things like that, this places a high concentration on how do people get things done with each other, uh, parts of groups, and then how do you lead teams in that way. So there's definitely a, a social, psychological aspect to this and how it applies in business and other contexts. So if you're considering the MLD program, 
what will really get you fired up is if you have a passion for how is it that some people when they come together get things done and others don't. That's what you learn in the program. One of the other great, uh, the beauties that I experienced in a master's program, and I'll compare it with an undergraduate program, is that the courses, the class sizes are so small that within the first few weeks, I knew the, na the first names of all my cohort members. Uh, and I'm on a first name basis with all the professors. I, I finished the program in 2010, and to this day, I still speak probably on a monthly basis with three or four of the professors. They've become mentors of mine, uh, valued colleagues, and I couldn't trade that for the world. I also found that compared to an undergraduate experience, your classmates become a significant part of your learning. Because what you, what you do in class time is you don't sit and take notes for three hours. You actually discuss concepts and behaviors and practices and learn how each other has behaved in those moments to see what's worked and what hasn't. So a significant amount of the learning comes from your peers and not just from a top-down approach.